What's going on guys? Steve from Men Masters here and today I'm going to show you how to change out your camber bushing and your F-150. So all cars have a camber, caster and tow uh, adjustment. Um, on these trucks the camber and caster are adjusted by a nut. Now the factory nut is somewhat adjustable but doesn't have the same range as these aftermarket kind. As you can see it looks like one adjustment, but if you see there's actually two rotating cylinders. And supposedly you can get this thing all the way over to negative two camber. I don't believe it. I was barely able to get one a negative camber on the one side. But uh, I thought I'd show you how guys how to put one of these on. Because a big problem with uh, camber is without it, your tires get really messed up. So here's the tire here. This side isn't very deep. And as you can see, this side uh, is. And that's because I have way too much positive camber on the truck. And how you can tell the difference between positive and camber is you've probably seen those guys in little ricer mobiles and stuff like that, and the wheels slant in like this. That's negative camber. When they slant out, not so common. You may see it on some old cars. That's positive. Most cars are either dead center or with maybe a little bit of negative camber. So in this case, I want to correct all the positive camber that's on my tire and uh, bring it in to at least zero, maybe a little bit of negative, so that uh, my tires will wear evenly because, well, the Cooper Discoverers are about 180 bucks a piece, roughly. So I don't feel like having to blow two of them too early. So let's get started. All right, so for this fix, you're gonna to wanna to take off your wheel and tire, as I've done, to access the camber nut. Now that's it, that big, big thing right there. And it's adjusted all the way in. So you see the thin side, it's not quite center there. So it's adjusted uh, all the way in. Yes, it is. And so the wheel is tipping too far out, giving me too much positive camber. So we want to change it out with something that is adjustable, mainly this camber nut. So that will go right there. Anyway, your limiting factor for how well this is really gonna work is this gap in between these two. So on the other side, I got it so you can fit like a, cre a credit card in between there and it still will rotate. And then here we can bring it in just a little bit more. Um, I'm also doing the ball joints. I did them on the same side, which are complete pain in the ass. Anyway, so uh, to make things and life go easier for just doing your camber nut, you're gonna wanna pick up a one and one half socket. Now, and you'll need a reducer down to a uh, half because this thing is huge. So basically what I did is a ton of PB blaster, some heat from my map gas and I took this and I just kept spinning it back and forth and prying it a little bit uh, with a little crowbar and eventually it came out but you have to keep spinning it back and forth because the crowbar wants to lift up unevenly on one side and it like jacks it up so like when it should come out straight it come it wants to come out sideways and it stops if you use a crowbar so just keep twisting 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 and then keep lifting it up and eventually boom it should pop right out so uh, I'm gonna do that real quick for you uh, also, before you even do any of that, you're going to want to take off that nut. Yes, you can see it, that one. And you need a backup wrench because the other side. Because that pinches those two pieces of metal, and those two pieces of metal pinch around this, and that's how you loosen up to get it out. So uh, another cool thing you can do to help loosen it up is that little crack right there. See where my thumb's pointing? That crack, you can put something in there to help pry open the two pieces and that'll make it easier to come out. So, uh, okay, so for the second time, let's get started. Quick note, if you own an impact gun, your life's gonna be amazing. So, had I had this before, it'd be much easier. So all I did is I hooked this up to my impact gun and I went to, and I just spun it uh, for about 10, 12 seconds, boom, the nut popped off. I mean, it took me, I, you don't want to know how long it took me to do it the other side by hand. Uh, all right, I should tell you because you're gonna have to do this. So the other side probably took me about 10 minutes of BSing to get this thing out, where this took me about hmm, 20 seconds. So that's the real fix. Now we got it off, and you have access to your top ball joint, which on this is really really wiggly. Uh, I take that as a sign that it needs to be changed. So kudos for me for wanting to do all this. Uh, so. I'm going to hold off on putting that back in, but I'll get back to you when it comes time to put it in. All right, so I replaced the ball joints, as I said I was going to, and I'm back with you 
to put this little guy in here. So I played with this on the other side to get a, uh, you know, kind of a, a setup that I like, which in this case involved this configuration with the letters and such. So uh, basically what you do is you put this in here and you take a socket and you put it down that fits right in the top of this and you hammer it in and then you're all set to go. And if you need to make any adjustments, like I said, you get these big boys and they fit right down on top and you can adjust it every which way you want. So I'm gonna go put this in here and you guys can have a look when I'm finished. So you're wondering, oh man, it's uh, no longer dark, it's daylight. So uh, I didn't have time last night to shoot the last part of the video so that you can see what it looks like with the camber nut on. Uh, once I got it all said and done, I finished about 10.30 and my dad and I were so eager to test drive the truck and see how she handled with the new ball joints that, well, I had to run out and of course it's 10.30, I had to pack up, you gotta go to bed, you know, all of us have normal lives. So anyway, for all of those who are deciding to do this and you think you have no time, you can do it. Just start Saturday and finish it Sunday if you need to or just finish it late Saturday night, you can do it. So anyway, I'll show you what it looks like. So uh, that's the new camber nut in, and uh, the ball joint came with the new, the new bolt and uh, nut there. Uh, so you won't get that with your the camber nut, but it's in place. And like I said, I adjusted it yesterday so that I had it on the same setting as the other side. Now I went, I had to do a very long drive on the highway, and. It's got a terrible, wicked vibration at the moment. I think it's just because the toe is all messed up because the ball joints, the tie rods were set for the old ball joints, the old ball joints were, were done. So I'm gonna have to take this to get it aligned, which most of you will have to do uh, if you also replace the ball joints. But if you're just doing the camber nuts and you all have them set the same, I think you should be okay. Um, so if your truck, it's an F100, F150, anyone that has a twin traction beam, suspension and that also includes Broncos and you've got a ton of positive camber or a ton of negative camber and you don't know what to do go get the camber nuts give this a shot like I said if you have an impact gun phew, yeah you get this done absolutely no time if you use a breaker bar like I said it took me like 10 minutes to work it and get it out but you should do this if you have that problem so uh, give this one a shot remember it's never too late to work on your truck because she is your baby so this is Steve from the Minimasters Thanks for watching.